Hello Linux fans, Rob here. Welcome to Linux Quest and thanks for watching. So, I wanted to give you a quick look at Antergos or Antergos. I'm going to pronounce that name correctly one day. That's how much I like this distro. I'm going to work on it. Um, I want to just give you a look at the KDE desktop environment uh, here on Antergos. And I found a few things here that's worth mention. Uh, for the most part, you launch into a pretty standard KDE theme that you typically see with other distributions. Uh, I will say that there were options uh, built in by default here for um, the Numix icons. They just were not selected by default, but they are in place. So if you like that icon theme, you can go ahead and change over to that. We'll go ahead and apply that while I'm here. Um, and then with a reboot, you would see those appear there in the panel as well. And you yep, probably see those changes here. Um, but other than that, really nothing in the way of theming or anything was done. Again, it's going to be kind of a pretty vanilla, generic uh, breeze theme that you see. Also, there were not really any um, added programs or anything outside of what you would typically see in a default install of you know the KDE desktop environment. So you see a lot of the same um, KDE-focused applications, console, KSIS card, things like that. Dolphin is the file manager. Um, so for me, it was a pretty minimal install because I was able to, uh, you know, toggle on or off what I wanted to install. Um, so I'll get into that in just a minute on the office side of things. Now I did find something worth mentioning. As I said, I found two things here. One is on a typical KDE desktop, if you right click on the K menu, you go to alternatives, you're going to see three options. So you have the, what most people default to, which is the application launcher. And then you have application menu that was selected by default. The third option is missing. Now, maybe something happened during my install. I haven't reinstalled it to see. Um, and I didn't, I actually installed this on a test system uh, previous to installing this on my main system. And I didn't go in to actually check because application menu, which is what I typically use, was default. So. I don't know if in that first install if it was there or not, but it's missing, and I'm just curious if the developers either found that, you know, maybe uh, from a system standpoint it was better to have uh, have that, you know, uh, just these two options and remove that, or maybe they just didn't like it and decided to remove it, or maybe I don't know something happened during my install. Any anything. Anyway, I found that interesting and just wanted to point that out. Now I will say that the system runs really fast and I have run enough distributions with KDE to to I think be a pretty fair judge of that you know uh, depends on your system your mileage may vary that kind of thing but my overall experience with this has been really nice for the limited time but I'm really starting to become a arch slash uh, antergos antergos believer here after trying multiple desktop environments on this distribution Last night I also installed XFCE and was able to install the Whisker menu from the AUR and it was a great experience, blazingly fast and uh, you know again just really impressed with what they're doing here. Now I want to move on to something else. So I said earlier uh, you know I chose not to install LibreOffice so really the only thing under Office once I launched in was Ocular. Now I installed WPS Office. And I was really, really happy to see what happened when I launched into the, when I launched into WPS Office. It launches right into the default template screen that you're supposed to launch into. The reason I say this is because on every other distribution that I have installed WPS Office on where I'm running the KDE desktop environment, it does uh, WPS will do one of two things. It'll launch, but not launch into the templates and run for the most part okay with a few problems or number two it will launch into the screen without the templates and run like a dog and be nothing but problematic and I have to go back to LibreOffice. In this case when I did the install I was able to install it through the AUR it gave me an option for and we'll go ahead and launch into that it gave me an option for a font pack uh, which it listed uh, originally it was right under WPS Office and it listed symbol fonts required by WPS Office. 
So I, I saw that and I went ahead and selected that. Now, I don't know if that is what, and I can't imagine that fonts affected the system to the level that I was having previously. Perhaps it did. At any rate, the wonderful thing is, is the way it was listed through the AUR, I decided, you know what, I better install this. It says required, and now it runs so far great, knock on wood. And so I just want to point that out. If, if you like KDE, you, you run KDE, and you've tried WPS Office, and you had the same experience there, uh, for me, this is the solution right here. Um, so, and I just wonder, you know, what that makes me wonder is, are there other applications that on other distributions, no matter, you know, pick your DE, pick your desktop environment, but are there other applications that run better because of the arch base of the system or because of, of what the developers have done here with um, Antergos? And, you know, how many other programs out there um, could possibly run better here than they do on another distro? So it's kind of got my gears turning there. Anyway, just wanted to share all this with you. I'm going to sum this. I'm not going to go through anything else here because if you're familiar with KDE, it's kind of a vanilla look. You you know that you've got the Numix, Numix icons that you can go in and, and change. Uh, but beyond that, there's really not a whole lot to show you that you haven't already seen if you looked at other videos on KDE, um, you know, on the environment as a whole. So I hope this helps. If you've got any questions, uh, feel free to, to message, you know, in the... Uh, in uh, the channel and uh, appreciate you watching and we will check you later.